What's up, snobs? Shane here to give you my thoughts on Mortal Kombat. Uh, I think everyone knows what this movie is going into it. You know what to expect. Uh, and so really the only question is, is it dumb fun or is it just dumb? Let's find out. Mortal Kombat is a classic arcade game and now console game. It's a really easy game to jump into and play. There's not a lot of setup required. It's a tournament of champions. You pick your fighter, I'll pick mine. We'll fight to the death. One of us moves on. Uh, and you know, that makes for a really great video game, but that's hard to adapt to film because you have so many characters that you have to set up. You know, some of them are going to die pretty quickly and yet, you know, you still need the audience to care. And so uh, it's kind of a tall, task and so when the trailer came out for this movie I was really interested to see okay how are they going to do this in 2021 we saw what it looked like in the 90s how do they do it now and uh, you know the trailer really set my expectation that it was going to be a bunch of characters they were going to look cool they were going to do a bunch of cool stuff and there wasn't going to be a lot of depth in, in character or story, and I was on board for that. So, let's talk about how that played out. The movie's a bit of a mixed bag when it comes to the characters. Uh, some of the bigger fan favorites, the obvious choices like Sub-Zero and Scorpion, uh, they get the cool moments, and that makes sense, right? You know, that's going to be the people that you want to see shine in this movie. I thought Sub-Zero in particular was the standout character of the movie. He's really, really cool in it. Uh, some of the other characters who are notable, you know, Sonya Blade, Jax, uh, people like that, they get some good moments. Uh, a couple of the characters are pretty underserved and underdeveloped, and that's okay. That's kind of what you expect out of this movie. Um, in general, the movie does an okay job with it. I wish that we had gotten a little bit more development, especially uh, with, you know, the main character, Cole Young. If we're going to spend that much time with him, I need to care a little bit more about him. Uh, even by the end of the movie, I was still kind of like, eh, I could take you or leave you. I, I kind of prefer some of the other characters who I know from the games and things like that. Uh, but overall, the movie does an effective job. It, it does what you expect with the characters. It gives you just enough to care about them so that you can watch them do these cool things. But the reason you watch Mortal Kombat is for the combat. If the fights are good enough, you'll forgive everything else. It won't matter that the story is slight. It won't matter that some of the characters are underdeveloped. It won't matter that some of the performances are kind of wooden. If you like the fights, you're going to like this movie. And really, it's that simple. I feel pretty similarly to the way I did about Kong vs. Godzilla, where it's like all the stuff in between the fights is kind of like, eh, just get to the next fight, just get to the next fight. But the fights are good enough that I forgive the rest of the movie. I would watch this film again because the action was so enjoyable. Uh, you know, I think the movie does a really good job of giving you different combinations of fighters as well. You get to see a lot of different characters match up against each other. Some of those fights are pretty quick. Some of them are just, you know, uh, friendly training sessions, but some of them are pretty big extended sequences you've probably seen from the trailers. Sub-Zero and Scorpion get some real big action set pieces in this movie that are are really entertaining. And so, uh, you know, if you like the fighting, that's why you see this movie. This is a Friday night type of movie. This is the movie that you put on, uh, you know, you, you get some popcorn, you sit back, and, and you just know that you're in for a good time. Not, uh, you know, high art. This isn't some, you know, prestigious movie. It's a fun movie where you get to watch video game characters kick each other. That's it. Don't overthink it. Uh, go into this with those expectations that, you know, they don't do anything revolutionary with the story. They don't do anything revolutionary with the characters, but they deliver on the big screen some pretty cool action, and it's worth watching for that alone. Finish him! In summary, I had fun with this film. Uh, it was exactly what I expected. I respect a movie who delivers exactly what you expect of it. Uh, you know, this movie isn't a bait and switch for, for something else. It is what it is. If you saw the trailer and you went, oh, that looks cool, it is cool. If you saw the trailer and went, eh, that looks kind of dumb, it is dumb. So uh, go into this movie with those expectations. They don't do anything revolutionary with the story or characters, but the movie's fun. 
and uh, I think it sets up a sequel really nicely. I hope that this movie is a success and we get to see that film because by the end of this movie, we get to the point where we're set up for the movie that I actually want to see. Uh, and, and, you know, you do end up caring about the characters that make it through and, and you want to see where this goes. And so hopefully there is more films in this franchise. I thought Mortal Kombat was a dumb, fun movie that has major issues with the story and the characters, but is overcome by great action. For that reason, I'm giving Mortal Kombat three stars out of five. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Join me next week. I'm going to be breaking down the Oscar results from Sunday. See you then. Flawless victory.